like I said, my only real plan. Uh, first turn fake out, work up, and go from there. And honestly, I'm not 100% sure how well I can go from there. But I guess we'll have to see how it goes. 12 seconds later. Hands are confusing. Baby Doll Eyes always hits first, though. So let's just lower that. Lower that. Yes, fucking contrary. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Pokemon Penumbra Moon Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we took on the Trainer School. We made our way here to Howley City. We tried to get an encounter, and uh, of course, the one time I actually am able to damage an Abra and get it down to half health without it being able to teleport away, it immediately breaks out of a great ball of all things and teleports away. Because my luck is garbage. Anywho, in today's episode, we are going to be taking on Team Skull and the Trial Captain, Alima. I'm actually really afraid of Alima more than anything. But before we do anything, we're going to do a quick little team recap. Starting off, we have Ulysses the Poplio, our starter, level 16, serious nature, with the Torn Ability, Rock and Water Gun, Disarming Voice, Icy Wind, and Baby Doll Eyes. Then we have Mia the Meowth, level 15, sassy nature, with the Technician Ability, Rock and Bite, Fury Swipes, Fake Out, and Growl. And last but not least, we have Violet the Grubbin, level 15, a quirky nature, with the Swarm Ability, Rock and Bug Bite, Str String Shot, Mud Slap, and Bite. So, that is our squad. Um, I'm actually going to start off with Mia for the Team Skull Battle. Because I actually kind of have an idea. I'm going to teach Mia Workup. And with Technician, Workup is absolutely going to destroy everything. Bite gets the boost from Technician. So it should help me. I hope. I'm assuming. But with my luck, it probably won't. Uh, I'm really... My only real strategy for the battle against Dilema is to... A... Try to set up at least one or two workups, and B, um, just go to town. Because honestly, I think even one or two workups, I think honestly one workup is enough for me to start kicking major ass. So, hopefully, um, that'll be what happens. But with my luck, probably not. Anywho, uh, first off, we have to survive this battle with Team Skull. Um, I think this first battle with Team Skull isn't as hard as... Um, later Team Skull battles, obviously, like I said last, uh, in Umber Moon, we fought a Team Skull Grunt with a contrary, uh, Inke that had, I think, it had superpowers, something, it had something that would usually lower a, uh, like an attack stat, and then it ends up obviously raising it, because contrary sucks, but, yeah, um, my only real plan for this, a quillfish, interesting. My only real plan for this is with Mia, I can just get a free hit with Fake Out and Flinch. Then I can just set up um, work up, at least one or two work ups, and then we kind of go from there. But I don't really know. I don't really have. My plan isn't exactly foolproof. But that crit and a red card. Okay. Well, that's kind of annoying, but whatever. But we did get that free flinch off, so I'm just going to go back into Mia. Um, I think we should be fine. I don't think Quillfish learns anything that can hurt Mia. So, at the end of the day, you have Toxic Spikes. Okay, well, I'm definitely not switching out now, then. Because that is going to be an issue anyways. I'm just going to go for the Bites. Because this thing is apparently just setting up on me anyways. So, I guess... Bite does a pretty decent amount of damage. I think another Bite will kill. It should. Okay, so you set up one round of Toxic Spikes. Or did you set up two rounds of Toxic Spikes? And then one round of Spikes. That's not good. So, I hope your other Pokemon is something that Mia can kill. Because I'm not gonna sit there and heal Poison and uh, regular damage. Because that's gonna fuck me up. So, I'm really glad that you sent out a Dusk Call, actually. Because that thing... Is gonna just get two shot. Okay, never mind. One shot it because you're gonna curse. Fantastic. That actually works out in my favor. I see what his strategy was supposed to be. Uh, set up spikes and toxic spikes, so then I, um, and then I get red carded out, and then I'm taking damage from whichever one it set up first. And then on top of that, having a dust skull with curse. If I don't do enough damage to it, 
I just start taking so much damage that I have to switch out from to heal from the curse, and then I take damage. So, I mean, overall, pretty smart strategy. Luckily for me, I had uh, a team that just completely counteracted that anyways. So, fantastic. Um, now I have to fight a Lima, and uh, this is where pain starts, because life is pain and the world hates me. But uh, I accidentally said no. I need to fight you. So, I mean, I have no choice one way or the other. If I didn't have to fight a Lima, I wouldn't, because that, like, this battle is just a death sentence. Um, my only, like I said, my only real plan, uh, first turn fake out, work up, and go from there. And honestly, I'm not 100% sure how well I can go from there, but I guess we'll have to see how it goes. Anywho, um, I guess... A skinny, you also have fake out. So I'm going for fake out and hoping I outspeed. Perfect. Okay. That is fantastic. In that case, I'm gonna just work up this turn, uh, start getting the damage done, and hopefully we'll be able to go for a killing move. Thunder Wave, you suck. You are so annoying, and I don't like you. Um, I'm gonna go for another work up. I'm gonna be greedy. And hopefully I don't get... Oh, no, that's not good for me. Okay. Uh, I can't get paralyzed this turn, or life is going to hurt. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to heal up my paralysis. And then I guess I'm going to bite you to death. That's all I can do. Work up. Oh, you're plus two as well. Not something I want to see. So this bite better either flinch or kill you. And honestly, with Technician and plus two workup and stab, I think this kills. This? This might this actually might work. If this strategy ends up working, I'm going to lose it. He starts off with the smear he goes with the smear goal. Okay. Um just go for a bite. Work up. Okay, you outspeed me, which is scary. Can this either kill or do over half? Oh no! Oh my god, this is amazing. This is amazing. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm about to sweep him. I think I'm about to sweep his entire team. A young goose. Young goose has nothing on me. I'm going to demolish your entire existence, sir. Um, actually, I think this young goose has a focus dash. So, let's see. Fury swipes is 25 18 so it hits up if it hits up to two times then that's 36 it's no stab but if it hits up to five times it still does less than bite so i guess i'll go for okay let's put it this way if fury swipes can hit multiple times then it first off it breaks the focus ash um because bite will just break like Bite will just activate the focus action no matter what, because I mean, this thing is definitely getting one-shotted. Smeargle got one-shotted. Um, my bigger concern is how much damage this thing can do to me. And honestly, it could probably do a lot. And I'm not really sure I like that. So, um, I kind of want to go with Fury Swipes just to see how much damage I can do. Because one way or the other, this thing's going to be able to attack me anyways. So, of course it misses. Okay, well, that's good. Well, now I'm going to get put to sleep for no reason. Because I could have uh, just done this completely different way. Alright, well, I'll just bite you. That's going to break your focus, Ash. That's fine. You turn Oh, that might hurt. I did a lot of damage, and I'm not happy about it. Okay. Um... I might have to Spinda. You get Play Rough. I'm pretty sure Spinda gets Play Rough. It also gets Teeter Dance. Will Play Rough hit me hard enough to kill me? I don't think I want to play games with the Spinda. To be perfectly honest with you guys. Um, I don't think this is a risk I want to take. So I think I'm better off going into... This thing's going to just... He's going to work up anyways. So I might as well heal while, I, like, heal while I have the chance with Mia. If he works up, 
then I'll see how much damage whatever it throws at me does. But... Dizzy Punch. Okay, well, Dizzy Punch is fine. How much does it do? Over half. Okay. Well, then, in that case, Mia is getting out of here. Alright, well... Losing my plus two on the workup is sucks, but at least I can baby doll eyes with Ulysses and hopefully do some work from there, because Dizzy Punch is going to hit hard. And it also has the chance of confusing. Baby doll eyes always hits first, though. So... Let's just lower that... Lower that... Yes, fucking contrary. I didn't even know Spinda got contrary. I just fucked myself over. I didn't know that Spinda got contrary, dude. I did not think that was a thing. I need to confirm. It's a hidden ability. I just set myself up to die. I just set myself up to die. I just set myself up to die. Dude. <laughs> what? That is such... I just ruined it. I just... I lose. I lose. Dizzy Punch does over half, and now it has a chance of critting me, and now I'm, I just lose. Because now it's just going to do a bunch of damage. Oh my god, dude. It does... It does way too much. It hit me from 43 to 20... To, it hit me from 43 to 16. Um... It did over 20. It's just like, I have to... I have to spam heal. And I don't have the potions to do that. I don't have enough potions to do this. I'm gonna lose. I didn't even know that Spinda got contrary. I would never have... I wouldn't have babied all eyes if I knew that it got contrary, but... Here it has it, so... I guess I'm screwed. How much PP does Dizzy Punch have? I think it's only 10 or 15. I'm gonna have to look this up now. Okay, Dizzy Punch. I'm screwed, dude. I'm screwed. I'm so screwed. Like, I just have to spam heal and hope that it doesn't crit me. It's 10 PP. Okay. I just have to survive 10 Dizzy Punches. Dizzy Punch has to be its strongest move. There's no way it has anything stronger than Dizzy Punch. <laughs> It having contrary is going to fuck me up. It's out of- I think it's out of Dizzy Punches, which is a good sign for me. In that case, I need to know what its other moves are, and go from there. But, for now, I'm gonna heal up Mia, and see what else it has. Faint Attack. Alright, well, Faint Attack I can hit- or it doesn't hit that hard. Okay, I'm gonna full heal. He's just going to keep fan attacking and probably swagger here and there but nope that's not what I meant to do no running um faint attack is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass but not as much as dizzy punch so I guess I have that going for me but if I go into Mia fan attack's gonna just be doing as much as dizzy punch was doing so I guess I can just water gun swagger dude swagger's gonna I'm plus four now so if I hit myself right now, I'm screwed. I think I just die. Okay, I hit the water gun. Um, I'm gonna have to be really fucking careful. Because now I have to worry about swagger as well. And I definitely can't heal that. Um, I definitely can't spam heal that. So, he's gonna just keep trying to... I can't Icy Wind, because Icy Wind can lower speed, and I don't want it any faster than it already is. Uh, I'm just gonna go for Water Gun, so hopefully it... Okay. I'm plus six. I will kill myself if I... I will die right now if I hit myself. I think that's it. <sighs> okay, alright. Mm. Definitely not something I want to experience much longer. Okay, I have to be careful. I have to be careful. I can't, like, I can't risk this. So... Okay, I have to full heal. I need him to stop swaggering. Like, that's all I can do. 
So, I think I'm better off trying to work um, through the wake, like work through waking up, than spamming full heals along with it. Like swagger me while I'm asleep, that's fine. Just don't wake me up. Like that's all I can do. That's all I can do. That's this is like my my only strategy for this spinda. Because this thing is just going to keep fucking me up. I'm really mad that this thing had contrary. Like now I'm stuck in between a rock and a hard place. Like that's really all there is to it. Because now he's just gonna he's gonna keep swaggering me whenever he gets the chance. Um He's not doing as much, so I guess I'll use my potions and just take two turns to heal. Because at least then that possibly wastes swaggers. Uh, but it's healing up. I mean, it's healing more than the the, the fan attacks are doing. So I guess it's term, turns for it to waste swagger on. That's really all there. That's the only positive I have. But honestly, like this is the worst moveset this Spinda could possibly have. This is absolutely awful. And it has hypnosis on top of it to boot, so... Um, I'm gonna go for another water gun. I have to just keep hoping that I can, like... I guess, wait out his moves. But, honestly, what would really help me is if he starts struggling. But, struggle might kill me with it being plus one. If I'm being perfectly honest. So... I can't risk... What I can't risk is waking up and then hitting myself. I can't risk that. Um, if I wake up Mia, if I wake up Mia and switch out, I get hit by a fan attack, but I can fake out a turn. I'm gonna try that. We're gonna try that real quick. Fan attack, that's fine. Does some damage. Um, I don't want to waste all of my potions because he still has half his team left. This entire episode is just going to be me trying to kill this Spinda. Like, Spinda? Dude, I really like Spinda as a Pokemon, but looking at it right now is making me, like, just mad. Like, looking at it, just, first off, contrary, having Contrary and me just not even knowing about that. So, clearly I need to figure out what Pokemon have Contrary and what don't, because otherwise I'm going to just set myself up for death. But, all I can really do is wait this out. Um, sooner or later he's gonna start struggling, and then he's gonna, of course he crits me, and then he's gonna eventually struggle itself to death. But if he's gonna start struggling, I'd rather Ulysses be out than, uh, anything else. So, I guess, I'm gonna try to get myself fully healed, or about as healed as I can, and then I will switch in to Mia. Dude, can you not crit me? He's critting me at the worst points. Like, this is terrible. And honestly, I'll probably still be asleep if I go, if I like, try. So, I just want to be as healed as I physically can be. Cause like, I, I can't, dude. I can't right now. This is so bad. I mean, I guess, I, I mean, I did say that if I had to sack off Violet, I would, but I don't want to if I don't have to. So I'm gonna go into Mia, I'm gonna fake out, and then we'll get at least one free hit on him. So it's better than nothing. So fake out. That's fine. That was a crit. In that case, I'm gonna fake out. There we go. Perfect. Um. I'm gonna go for a bite. Because either I outspeed and I might flinch or it'll live a faint attack. It hypnosis and it misses. Perfect. Okay. Um, dude, you suck. You are terrible. I didn't even know you had a super potion. Great. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go for another bite. <sighs> okay. He got another flinch, and Spinda's dead. Okay. I'll take it. That's fine. Wow. All right. That was terrible, and I don't want to live through it again. Will I switch out my Pokemon? Um, I'm gonna go into Violet, see what he brings out, and possibly heal up my team if I have to. Young Goose, okay. Well, Young Goose is just gonna die this turn anyways. So, I think it outspeeds me, but that's fine, I'll just Bug Bite. I don't, it doesn't outspeed me, perfect. Okay, 
Kill that. What are his last two Pokemon? This entire episode is just going to be us fighting Alima. That's like really all there is to it. Stantler. That is the worst Pokemon he has. That is the worst Pokemon he has. That's great. Okay. I need to wake up Ulysses. I need to. This thing's going to fuck me up. It has Confused Ray. Okay. Great. That's just as annoying as what I was just experiencing anyways. So... And he also probably has a fighting type move, which is even worse. So I'm gonna potion up. Does he have a rock type move? Because if he goes for a rock type move, Violet's dead. Hidden power. What's hidden power? It doesn't do that much damage. Okay. Um I'm gonna try to mud slap you. Just to lower your accuracy. That's all I can do. Do you have contrary as a, as an ability? Let's find out. But I should have just gone into Violet to begin with. I got I forgot I was confused. I should have gone into Violet and just mud slapped to lower accuracy. But faint attack always hits, so it wouldn't have mattered. Alright. Um at least Violet can make use of the potions. That's really all there is to it. But wow, this battle is terrifying. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. And I don't know what its hidden power is, so I don't want to go into Um Oh, I just realized that if Violet hits herself, she's dead. No, she's not. Never mind. She's fine. Bug bite. Fantastic. Do you have an uh, item I can... I ate your citrus berry. Perfect. That's what I was hoping for. Alright. Look at that. That does... So citrus berry... Does citrus berry heal less than um, a normal... Like an orange berry? I'm pretty sure it just did. I was at 12, so it only healed 9. I think it heals a percentage while orange berries are set 10. So at the end of the day... The higher your HP is, the better it does. So, I guess there's that. How are you not missing? I hit you, like, Mud Slap should have lowered your accuracy. Like, you should be not, like, doing any of this. I think I just killed Violet. I didn't. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Her, his la We're on his last two Pokemon. I cannot have somebody die right now. And I don't want to go into anybody else. Because right now... Okay. What I know is that... Okay, first off, I haven't snapped out of Confusion yet, which is kind of annoying. But what I do know is his hidden power is neutral on bug types. So I have that knowledge, which means it's not grass, but it still could be electric. Um, we also know it's not fighting, but it could possibly... I don't think it's fighting or fairy, because I'm pretty sure bug resists both. That or it's bug or fairy resists bug. I think fairy resists bug. I don't know. Um, tackle probably does a lot more. Actually, no, it doesn't. Okay. Well... Um, I think I'm about to watch a Grubbin beat a Stantler, which is really something I wasn't really... I wasn't expecting something like that ever happening in my life, so... I guess... Okay, well, I'm gonna hit myself in confusion, then. Life doesn't matter. Um, wow. This is working out better than I thought it would, but that definitely doesn't mean that I'm comfortable with the turn of events that have occurred. Because this battle probably could have been a lot faster if I didn't just try to baby dollize a Pokemon with Contrary. But here we are. So, hidden power, just can't crit. And then, yeah, okay. There we go. You're dead. Goodbye. Awesome. I'm going to stay in with Violet, just for his last Pokemon. See what it is. And um, hope and pray that it's something... Violet's learning Spark. Look at that. Violet... I'm getting rid of String Shot. I'm never using String Shot. There's no fighting types that get contrary, is there? Because, like, my, otherwise my whole strategy with Hall is out the window. A Deerling. Interesting. Well, that can easily be murdered by Violet. I have Bug Bite, you dumb bitch. Alright, well, Violet, I'm gonna heal you up. I'm gonna see what it's gonna throw at you. Honestly, you should resist all of its moves. Nature Power with Try Attack. Interesting. How much does Try Attack do to you? That's actually a decent amount. I don't like that. Um, I'm gonna just heal. I have so many Super Potions. I had like, tw I think I had like 25 or 30 Super Potions at the start of this. Double Kick. I'm really glad that I did not bring Mia out for this then. Because, actually, like, that would have just sucked. Okay, I'm gonna bug bite this dearling. And leech seed. Wow. Um, I really did- I went into this battle at, like, five minutes, I think, into the episode. So I really was not expecting it to last almost 20. But, uh, here we are. Because his team was absolutely terrifying. I'm really lucky that, um... Mia had Technician, because Technician's really going to work out in my favor uh, throughout this game. So, hopefully, at least, because, god damn. And, we got an evolution. So, 
That is perfect. We can end this episode off with a, an evolution. The episode was 25 minutes. We did absolutely nothing. So this episode, really, how long it is, is just null and void anyways. Because I could have done so much more. But we have, I think it's Brion. I'm going to call it Brion. But I love her. She's so cute. Well, he's so cute. I love Brion. I actually really like... Brion, Toracat, and, um, is it Dartrix? I think it's Dartrix. And the fact that, uh, Toracat turns into Incineroar just makes me upset. But that's besides the point. Do you learn anything? No, you don't. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay, Alima. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm really glad that you did all this, but I'm going to... I don't know if I want to go catch a Pokemon, because if I get into a trainer battle, I'm gonna die. So, I'm gonna go heal. Then we're gonna see if we can get to where we can run into Pokemon, but I'm gonna have to talk to... I'm gonna have to talk to Hala first. Ah, uh, damn it. Okay. Um... I mean... If I can get an encounter right now, this episode, that would be fantastic, because I'm pretty sure I have a battle with Hal uh, coming up on Route 2. Or, not Route 2. Um, I think we do the trial, then it'll... then we'll have the battle. I can't remember. Uh, okay, hi, Lily. Uh, I'm gonna speed through this so we can just get to where we can catch an encounter. Like, that's just really what I'm trying to do. Lily, are you doing okay? Yeah, she's not doing that great. Um, now that I think about it, okay. So I have to get to the battle with, um, or I have to get to the trial. But I think I can get an encounter beforehand. So I'm going to try that. We're gonna come up here. He's gonna, we're gonna have to talk to Tauros again. But... Hey, Tauros. I'm gonna poke it on the nose. He seemed to like it. He seemed to enjoy it. Something on my computer just disconnected, and I don't know what it was. Um... Touch its forelegs? Is that what it wants? Didn't seem to care for that. Uh, grab it by the horns? Why would that work? I would never have done that. But, okay. Alright, well that's good to know. Oh, now he does the tag. I love that. It's so adorable. I love Hala. Alright, can I get an encounter here before I have to fight any potential trainers? I think I can. I can sink in here. Oh, that's going to attack me immediately, and I don't want that to be my encounter. So, we're going to just sit here and get an encounter. There we go. Please be a good Pokemon. It's kind of, like, I'm going to be honest with you guys, this is absolutely a drown, a downgrade, <laughs> a, dr a drown, <laughs> this is absolutely a downgrade from the Abra I could have had, but you know what, I guess it works, because at least this thing won't teleport away, right, because otherwise I'll commit a murder. Um, I'm just going to throw a great ball at you, and you better stay in the ball or I'll kill you and your entire drowsy family, but I guess a drowsy's better than nothing. Um, especially a psychic type when I'm gonna have a battle against a fighting type Kahuna anyway. Okay. Oh, well, I guess not. Disable me. That's fantastic. You love to see it. Um, I don't want to Fury Swipes you, because I'm afraid you'll just die. And I don't want to waste the time switching on to anybody else, so... Please stay in the Pokeball, Drowsy. No, oh, okay. I just want to be your friend, Drowsy. I'm sorry that I insulted you, but, um... I'm just really disappointed in what I... The psychic type I could have had, and the psychic type that's now in front of me. I know it's nothing personal, I swear to God. But are you gonna you're just gonna try to disable all my Pokemon? Is that really what you're going for? Hey, you should live in Icy Wind, right? Like Icy Wind's like 40 base power. Hey, okay, you lived it. Well, uh I definitely don't think I can hit you again though. So can you just stay in the ball? That'd be awesome. That'd be really nice. Let's just throw another great paw. I'm honestly kind of mad that these Pokemon are breaking out of Great Balls, of all things. Because, uh, Great Balls should be good. Like, really good. So why are they breaking out? Thank you. Wow. A Drowsy? Not the best Psychic type out there. But a good Psychic type with what I have. And what I'm gonna have to deal with, uh... In... I guess the Kahuna fight. But, I honestly... Who's learning this? Violet? I don't think I want to... I want to keep... Oh, Mia was learning it. Well, then Mia's definitely not learning that because she's got a really good moveset going on right now. But, um, what do I want to nickname you, Drowsy? 
I don't know what you. I'm gonna name you. Mm. What's your name? What's your gender actually? You're male. I'm gonna name you. Nope. That wasn't the letter I was going for. I'm gonna name you. I'm gonna name you Dale. I don't know why, but I like Dale. All right. Well, that worked out. In that case, uh, we're gonna call an episode here, you guys. I'm gonna level up Dale. Uh, just to get him on par with everybody else because like I said, we do have a how battle coming up soon And we already have the trial anyways on top of that. So I'm gonna grind up We're gonna try not to die and then we will I guess take on the trial next episode. So with that We're gonna end it here. Thank you all so much for watching And if you guys enjoyed make sure you do smash that like button if you want to see more Make sure you subscribe and deposit right into that PC party share with your friends follow you on Twitter at PC Master during the discord link is down below if you guys enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'm PC Blowmaster, and I'll see you guys next time.